Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, October 9, 2008. This morning I'd like to go through a fairly simple looking problem, how to read INI files. And this is an example of a simple one. I have a header here and then a bunch of settings. And here's a slightly more complicated one with two sections, one called Settings and one called Settings 2. And I have some code that allows you to read these kinds of things, and I thought I'd go through that to show you that this is both possible and relatively simple, and there's already a library in existence to do it. So let's get that out of the way. And I'll show you that I have matching classes first for both settings and for settings too. And that's just to have some place to store the results of this. So to do the rest of the work, I'm going to have to load some code from the public store repository. So first I'm going to connect, and I'm going to connect to the public store. And if you have the non-commercial, you have read access to this as guest, so you should be able to do this. And I'm going to go to published items. And the thing I want to look for is something called image config this package right here. Just grab the top one. Now this is a fairly well used package. I use it in bottom feeder, I use it in my blog posting tool, I use it in my blog server. So it gets exercised a fair bit, at least by me. And it's a fairly simple and straightforward piece of code with some APIs that make it relatively straightforward to use. Let's go and find this in the browser now, image config. The one we want to look for is this. This is an older piece of code that really I ought to get rid of. This is the interface I'm going to use. And the APIs that we're going to take a look at are two of them. This, which is for reading multi-segmented files, and this, which is a simple API for reading in just the first entry for more common files. So let's take a look at how that works. I have a little page set up here. So let's go down to that. And let's take this on the second settings file, which if you take a look again, that's this one here. So let's take a look at that. I'll do an inspect. And you see pretty quickly you get back this. Now what you get back is this dictionary is the thing you want to look at. And I have two keys in it, settings and settings two. And each returns a collection of the entities that came back. So let's dive into that. And I have settings. Let's dive into that. Collection of this. Dive into that. And there we have it. Now if we dive back out and go to Settings 2, you see we have the same thing. So it understands these kinds of things. Now, let's say you have the more simple kind of file, something like this, and you don't want to have to dredge that deep into the results. Well, that's easy too. You come in here and you hand it the file, the namespace you want to resolve in, and the name of the key in the dictionary you want to look for. And you just do this, and you'll get back your object. And that's all there is to reading this kind of configuration file. Now this isn't something that ships with the base product other than in the contributed section, but you can load it from there. The reason I loaded it from the public store is that that guarantees that you'll get the most recent version, which has any and all bug fixes that I know about. So that pretty much wraps it up for today. Hope that was useful. And until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.